Hey, this is Keith Krantz, and in this short video, I'm going to walk you through how you can tap into Facebook's graph search and find out incredible things about your audience, your potential audience, your competition's audience, and really um, figure out the best targeting categories and interests to use for your Facebook ads. This is really, really cool. All you have to do is go into Facebook search right here and just start typing there's lots of different things you can do, but let's go ahead and do something like pages liked by people who like dominate web media. How about? And there we go. We got Get 10,000 Fans, Entrepreneurs Academy, Brian Dice, Social Triggers, all these type different types of um, audiences that you know people follow that also follow my page. Okay. Let's do Tony Robbins. You got Jim Rome, Jack Canfield, Brian Tracy, T. Harv Ecker, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, check this out. Now what you can do is you can do, you know, you can do interests. Like I can do public speaking, for example. You can search for anything with this graph search. And then you can go down and... and, and and just continue scrolling and of course you can grab maybe let's let's throw think and grow rich up there and then you can type in you know think and grow rich so this not only gives you a ton of information but it also stimulates your brain and it gets you uh, thinking of it's a great brainstorm to get you thinking of pages that you might not have thought of okay so but you can actually go much much deeper than this for example you could do something like pages liked by people who like think and grow rich and our small business owners. So pages like by people who like thinking grow rich and small business owners. Okay, so you go down and it's going to be pretty similar stuff for that one. But let's do something like how about something like interests liked by people who like tennis and Tony Robbins. Right down here. Look at this, much different results. Now we got traveling and yoga and meditation and spirituality, okay? This is how you get really narrow down to uh, some interests that maybe uh, you're really trying to get narrowed down into. For example, a lot of people ask me when they're inside the ad manager, can we run ads to people who like you know, tennis and Tony Robbins? Or can we run ads to somebody that likes Tony Robbins and public speaking or who likes Tony Robbins and Infusionsoft or something like that. So they're trying to really, you know, get that target audience. You, you want to get those layers. The problem is, is with some of the inside the precise interests, you're not able to do that with Facebook. And so what will happen is, is if you target somebody who likes tennis and also Tony Robbins, the, the, it only it what it does is it it targets both of those. So people who like either or either tennis and or Tony Robbins. So because you can't do that in the in the ad manager yet, you can do that here, and then you can find some interests that people that like both of those audiences or both of those topics like. Really, really powerful. You could do something like interests liked by people who like who are conservative and like FusionSoft, which is a you know. Marketing software, so autom marketing automation software, you know. So we know a lot of those people are into internet marketing and traffic and conversion. So, you know, you've got Jesus Christ, Bible, cooking, music, stuff like that. That's not real helpful, but if we did something like this, we could do change interests to pages liked by people who are conservative and infusion soft and see what we get. Facebook marketing, HubSpot, conservatism. Lord Sugar. See, there's some that you might not have thought about here that could work really well for your potential ads. And you can just continue drilling it down. You know, who 
are conservative and like Infusionsoft and are 40 years old. <laughs> Check that out. Actually, this is where you would put people who are conservative and like Infusionsoft and who are 40 years old. So here I would put something like this. People. Watch this. Oh, no results. How about who are over 40 years old? Look at that. This could be in my target market if that's my target market. You know what I mean? You can direct message people. You can do so many things here. It's really, really cool. But like I said, with the pages that are liked by, I can add more. I can break, continue drilling down, drilling down, drilling down, and really find some awesome target audiences to go after. Pages liked by people who are conservative and like Infusionsoft and Perry Marshall. see some of these here so it's some pretty cool stuff that you can you can um, you can do here how about let's do singers liked by people who like internet marketing so it pulls up musicians <laughs> There's so many things you can do. This is pretty amazing. So how about something like Friends of Keith Krantz who work at Nordstrom. How about that? All these people are friends of me that work at Nordstrom. Okay. Um pretty uh pretty amazing what you can do with with this you know so you can really get out there and you can really you know spy on your competition narrow things down in so many ways and just get creative i'd love to hear back from you of different types of searches that you've been able to use to to find more information about your target audience about your customers about your subscribers about your competition um, please comment on on this. If you're watching this video on YouTube or you're watching this video on my blog, I'd love to you know hear a comment from you on how you've been able to how this has been able to help you or how you've been able to take this to another level. All right, make sure you uh, click on the link in this post or in the in the description or on this page, and make sure you you know if you haven't downloaded my Facebook checklist, make sure you do that. I've got some great free training for you there, and hopefully I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.